Hey guys, my name is Shy. Welcome to another yes or no pick a card reading. You got cards number one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and number ten. Card number one. Seven of Cups. This is a tricky one because this card is all about imagination and possibility. Honestly, I can't give you guys a yes or no on this one. This is one of those maybe cards. When I pull the Seven of Cups, I know that all possibilities <laughs> are open to me and that nothing is fixed. It's it's like the timelines are spread out before you and you get to navigate depending on your energy. So... You have the potential to get a yes or get your idea. You have a potential for your ideal outcome to manifest, but you have to make sure that you are really resonating with that. This card reminds me of the law of resonance, which would be what I think of as the better way of thinking about the law of attraction. You want to be no, making sure you're sitting in your integrity, sitting in your authenticity and like holding, imagining and vibrating with your ideal outcome. So say you want, you're, you're, maybe somebody's asking, oh, am I going to get that job? Well, maybe right now you might get that job. If you want to increase your chances of actually getting the job or getting your ideal job, don't fixate on that particular job. Don't be attached to that one job that you applied for. Just make sure you are intending to get your ideal job. And your ideal job might not be the job you applied for. It might be some other better job out there. So sit and resonate with the energy of I have my ideal job and that will help you manifest your ideal job. But just remember that it might not be the job you applied for right now, but that just means that one door has closed and another door has opened. If you can hold your intention of the ideal best outcome, that is what you want to be doing here. And don't be attached to specific outcomes because right now everything is shifting and in flux. So this is a maybe, guys. This is a maybe, but if you want to get your ideal outcome, just try to resonate with the essence of it and don't get attached to any particulars. Card number two. Eight of Cups. This is another, this is another tricky one. This is a no... For most things, I, I gotta, I gotta kind of split this one. It really depends on what you guys are asking about. This is a no, unless you are asking about a spiritual journey. So, and because for me, the eight of cups is a really spiritual card. It is your spiritual journey. It is your 40 nights in the wilderness. If you asked about anything to do with, am I developing spirit spiritually? Uh, are my guides talking to me? Should I take this course of action to shift my perspective on like a metaphysical level, anything like that. This is all, this, that's a yes, that's a good sign. But for any kind of grounded action, asking about career, finances, relationships, even unless it's like a really spiritually based relationship, um, any kind of their mundane human things, this would be a no. Because on, on that kind of level, on the mundane human level, this is the card of walking away, of turning your back. So You'll have to kind of pay attention to what your question was about and how you worded it. Um, this is a really awesome card for anything spiritual. It is a yes for spiritual stuff, and especially spiritual changes and spiritual journeys. But it is a no for anything mundane. It is on that level. It's about turning your back. So I think you guys get the picture. <laughs> card number three. Two of Cups. This is a yes. This is a wonderful yes. Very unequivocal, especially if you guys are asking about relationships. This is right here. You can see these two people intertwined together, even though they kind of look like they're in a back alley. Um, actually, they kind of look like they're doing LSD in a back alley, but you can see they're just intertwining and entwining together. So anything to do with relationships, this is a really wonderful, wonderful sign. Um, but it's beyond just relationships. It's also about your internal alchemy and harmonizing with your external environment. So anything to do with you versus the world or you 
versus the the cosmos. All of that is good. This is a card of things coming together, coming together in har harmony and braiding things together. So totally good. Wonderful. Love the two of cups. This is a yes. Card number four. Justice number 11. Always with justice. It depends on how happy you are to see this card. If you saw the justice card and immediately went, yes, I'm going to get what I deserve, you know, and I'm going to get, uh, justice is going to be on my side. I think we all know instinctively if justice is going to be on our side because we know if we are, if we've been good or bad, basically, right? Justice is all about evening the scales. So if you've been taken advantage of, or even if you just had, shitty things happening in your life and you feel like, when am I going to get my break? When am I going to get my turn? When am I going to get what's coming to me? When am I going to get what I deserve? Because I have been, you know, I've been getting the shitty end of the stick. For you guys, this is a really good sign. This is great. That is a yes. For everybody who is a little nervous, if you're nervous about the hammer of justice coming down, then this is a no. It's it. Then this is, you know, if you're nervous about justice, then you probably have a reason to be nervous about justice. If you saw the justice card come up and you immediately thought about something that you've done that you're not proud of or that you wish you'd done differently or that you feel like you need to come clean over or that you need to set right, well, this is your opportunity to set it straight now before the hammer of justice comes down. If there's anything, I mean, it doesn't need to be a big deal. I always use the example of somebody ate the last slice of pizza or stole the last cookie out of the jar without asking anybody. If it's if something is keeping you up at night because you feel guilty about it, this is your chance to come clean and set everything straight and wipe the slate clean and get your fresh start. It will work out better for you if you do that. Do not wait for the hammer of justice to come down. You take make your first move, do what you need to do. You know what that is. Um, but for everybody who feels like they have been in lack and they need justice coming in on their side then this is a great sign and for those of for i think that's most of you i like to think that my viewers are all you know authentic and in their integrity and if that's you then this is a yes card number five five of wands this is a no <laughs> the five of wands is all about conflict fighting just people banging a bunch of sticks together. But the interesting thing about this five of wands is it's almost more of a show. So it's like these people are putting on a dramatization of combat. It is like martial dance. So it's still whatever's going on with you. There is everything feels like everybody is fighting and it feels really combative and conflicted. Uh, but the silver lining here is that nothing, everything is not as bad as it seems. This is kind of a surface level. People might be just acting out in these ways, just out of habit, like, like a force of habit. Like people are react being reactive and being combative just because that's how they've always done it. But I feel like the real conflict, the real problem and the real impulse to fight is kind of gone. Like there's a hollowness to this conflict. It's not really real. It is a superficial conflict. So a no for this one, but it's also, I wouldn't worry about it too much. Um, this is a passing energy. And I think once this conflict fizzles out, it's likely not to come back. This might be the last time you have to live out this conflict, especially if this is a repeating thing for you. Yeah, this is like, it's a conflict that's really hollowed out and it's about to collapse in on itself. So don't worry too much about this though. Card number six, three of swords. That's a no. You can just see this being sitting there huddled up with his hood up, head down with this almost skeletal grim figure. Three of swords, always about heartbreak, always about pain and suffering. Three of swords sucks, guys. So you guys are going through something and you're hurting. And this is, this is a no. This is just a no. But I've been this, seeing the Three of Swords come up a lot lately. And I'm really being shown that, yes, it hurts. Yes, it's this heartbreak. Yes, it's this just nobody wants the Three of Swords. But is it is it an important energy for us to move through? Because it is our opportunity for heart healing. 
do whatever you guys need to do to work through your emotional baggage, work through your childhood trauma, your past life traumas, whatever, whatever it is for you, whatever is, whatever is the root root of your pain. If you're hurting, go to the very deepest, deepest depths of that pain, figure out what it is, figure out the source of it and face it and deal with it. If you can do that, oh man, then on an energetic level, you guys can heal your heart, like heal your heart chakra, your heart space really energetically pulling out energetic blocks you have in your heart chakra there's so much opportunity for heart healing and all you need to do is work through this pain and once you if you can really do that like really just go okay i'm gonna do a deep dive i'm gonna face this problem i'm gonna work through this pain then you can heal it and you won't ever have to feel this way again because of this problem so again this was a no but the silver lining is work through this pain and in the long run, you'll be better for it. Card number seven. Oh, this two of wands is a yes. I, I know this card came up the last time I used this deck for a yes or no. I remember because of this alien. Look at this flying saucer, this UFO with this alien face beaming down. So for those of you who are especially into alien things, this card has a special meaning for you. This person is being, is downloading information from this light ship. How cool is that? Um, but for everybody, just look at this. You go out, your two wands, they're on fire. This person is uh, channeling the powers of manifestation. This is somebody, this person is really a magician, is a manifester, and the power is in your hands. The power is in your hands, guys. You can do it. Whatever you're asking about, yes, you can do it. You, you have the power. You are like channeling it. You, you are energized. This is yes. This is go time. Do it. Yes, this is really awesome. Uh, some of you are asking about something that you're trying to manifest. And this is just yes. You are finally putting two and two together. And you are getting the inspiration and the materials and the resources and the time and the energy that you need to do it. You have this. You got this, guys. Go for it. This is a yes. Card number eight, Prince of Pentacles. This would be the Knight of Pentacles. This is, uh, this is a yes, but only if you really want to. <laughs> I, I have been getting the Knight of Pentacles quite a bit lately when I when I've been asking, should I do this? Should I do this? And it's interesting because I'm really seeing, I'm really seeing precisely what that means, and it's like yes. You can do this. Yes, you can accomplish that, but it'll be kind of like this long slog. You'll get there. You can do it, but it'll be a lot of work and it'll be a little tedious and a little tiring. And at the end of the day, it might not have been worth it. So you really have to figure out um, whatever you're trying to do or whatever you want. Yes, you can do it if you put in the work. You can if you keep putting one foot in front of the other. You know, yes, but are is it worth all of that fatigue? Is it worth how long the journey is going to be? It's like whatever you're doing, it's going to be a little slow, going to be a little boring, going to be a little tedious, and you're not particularly going to enjoy it, but it's also not going to be that bad. This is not a bad energy for for this. It's just, you know, the best I can put it is, yes, you can do this if you really feel like it's worth it and you're willing to put in the work, but there's something here about it not being particularly pressing. If you think this issue is really majorly important, it's probably not as important as you think. A little bit of an invitation here to get some perspective and see if this is really that big of a deal because I'm really finding that when this card comes up, the issue we're asking about is not as big of a deal as we think. Card number nine. Six of Swords. Okay, so this is always about moving on. The Six of Swords is a yes if you are asking about a change, doing something new, leaving something behind. It is a card of movement, of shifts, of growth, and of change. So you got to figure out what exactly you're asking here and, you know, make sure you understand that the, the energy of this card, right? Because if you're asking about should I stay? Should I stay in this job? Should I stay in this relationship? Well, then your answer is no, because this card is inviting you to change. It is saying that everything is changing. The energy you're in is shifting. 
you need to be moving on to greener pastures. You need to be getting on a boat and going to new shores. So for this, guys, don't stay behind. You need to be doing something new. This is this is a yes for all things about change and shifts and growth. Card number 10. Princess of Cups. This is a yes, especially about anything to do with your emotions your spirituality and your creativity. This this Princess of Cups, this Page of Cups is just like the imagination of a young child. Like imagine it, like a five-year-old painting on, an, on an, like an easel out in their backyard. Just so much creativity, so much imagination and emotional overflow. There is a little bit of like innocence, like to the extent of naivete here. So depending on what you're asking about, be careful not to be taking, taken advantage of because this, this energy is very innocent, very easily manipulated and taken advantage of. So do watch yourself depending on what kind of situation you're in. But if you're asking about anything creative at all, anything to do with love and feelings and emotion, this is really good sign. This is a yes. This is somebody really being called to embody their creativity and kind of let out your inner child and remember that and tune into all of the love and inspiration in the world like this is somebody who can walk outside and just love a tree <laughs> like really just look at the tree and be like i love you tree you're amazing you're beautiful and to just enjoy everything that, that there is to enjoy this is this is not a time to be super serious this is not a time to be super analytical or controlling this is a, this is a chance to be free like tap into how you were when you were four years old like on your best day on your best day as a four-year-old when you were just free and with the people that you loved in a place that you loved, this is freedom and love and innocence. So this is a yes. And I think that's it, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope to see you again soon. Bye.